Alrighty guys, Cosmic Blazer Dragon is confirmed. We're getting this card later down the line. New Synchro Monster. I'm sure a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh fans will really like this guy. But uh, is he that good? I don't know. Let's go ahead and check out its effect. I'll show you guys some awesome replays while we go ahead and talk about just Synchros in general as well as uh, give you guys a deck profile at the end of this video. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, check out this effect. And by the way guys, this play over here is absolutely amazing. First turn, Quasar, Cosmic Blazar, and Cypher Dragon in one turn. That is a really, really insane play. And also, we'll give you guys the deck profile for any of you guys interested in running this deck. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get started with the uh, effect of Cosmic Blazar Dragon. So, anyways, it's same requirements as Stardust, uh, or Stardust Dragon. Yeah, same, same requirements as Stardust Dragon. No, uh, same requirements as Quasar Dragon, but we're here to go over the effect, and then also I'll just show you guys some replays, and I'll let the replays run while I go ahead and go over this effect. And you guys can tell me if you guys think it's better than Quasar. I think Quasar is just a better card, but I know in some circumstances this card can technically be better than uh, Quasar Dragon. But anyways, same requirements as Quasar, not Stardust. Anyways, it must be Synchro Summon, it can't be Special Summon by other ways, so during either player's turn, when your opponent does anything, negate it you by banishing this card. And if you do, you get to destroy that card. And then during either player's turn, if your opponent would summon or summon monsters, which means multiple, you can banish this card, then negate the summon, if you destroy that monster or monster. So that's where it can be better than Quasar in those circumstances. And then during either player's turn, when an opponent monster declares an attack, you can banish this card, negate the attack, and at the end of the battle phase, uh, you get to return this card if you activated the effect. And uh, as long as it wasn't negated. Uh, so that's basically the card's effect in a nutshell. I would say overall, most of the time, Quasar is going to be better, but I guess you could argue against a Pendulum deck that's going to throw out a bunch of monsters, looking at the way the game's going with that scale of 13 to 0. So basically, you know, anyone can summon whatever the heck they want. Dude, I need a side deck, 50 Kaijus, next format to deal with the amount of crazy stuff that goes on these days in Yu-Gi-Oh! But uh, overall, how do you guys feel about Synchro decks in general? I mean... Cosmic Blazer Dragon is a very strong card, but I think Quasar is pretty much the same thing. If this had like a different requirement, or if it had more attack, or just had some other effect that really shined through, because most of the time when you make Quasar, you can just go for game. Quasar attacks twice, well, usually attacks twice, um, if not multiple times. Uh, you pretty much have game already with... Quasar, like why bother making this card? You know what I mean? I don't know. You guys can let me know down below. Do you guys think Quasar is better or Cosmic Blazar? I think Quasar is just a better card. This card's artwork is better. I'll give it that though. Uh, but uh, overall, it's just going to be a card that just whittle down your opponent if they can't really respond to multiple things relatively uh, quick. But that's where the Kaijus come in, you know, other things, Lava Golem, just things to distribute it, get rid of the monster really easy. Uh, but overall, it's a relatively strong card. There's, this one's actually a pretty decent replay. I want to share this replay because this one was really funny. One person done goofs in it, uh, but nonetheless, Tuning activated another one. Tuning is a pretty good card. I remember when this card hit like $30 at one point, but obviously, yeah, it got reprinted. Synchro is not as popular, but I don't feel like this is something that's going to bring back Synchros into the game. I think Synchros were a really cool archetype back in the day. Plant Synchro, one of the most meta decks at uh, a period, but I don't think this is good enough. It's not good enough to compete with what we're getting in the game. Now, I feel like a lot of people will probably try to somehow incorporate the Zodiacs into making it a... Uh, synchro deck because you know Momorat that card if it doesn't get banned or anything relatively quick every deck's gonna be playing it and if you're not playing that card then you're not playing Yu-Gi-Oh competitively at its maximum potential but uh, nonetheless this guy makes a pretty decent field over here he's got the uh, Cosmic Blazer Dragon he's got Jet Warrior and a level eater for uh, defense over there maybe a level eater get that banned <laughs> next time on the TCG but anyways he's gonna go ahead and make a Scarlight a red dragon archfiend he's gonna go ahead and negate that effect make that card go away and he's like yo i'm good to go i activate that bujin Tsukiyomi over here look at that board rengeki everything destroyed but one day pepperoni was activated so he gets back his cosmic blazer dragon and with like five thousand cards the guy was like all right you win but uh, nonetheless yeah pretty good stuff and uh, you know also we have ancient gears coming out i feel like this it didn't come out fast enough, Konami. You didn't <laughs> you didn't give us this deck fast enough to the point where we were like, all right, let's go run this deck. I remember the Alpha, Beta, Gamma came out also, but 
Again, no one's really played those. Those got power crept before they even really got a chance to shine. But that's just how it happens sometimes in Yu-Gi-Oh! And obviously, if the ban list hits everything really hard, I don't know, maybe Alpha, Beta, Gamma will be actually good. If you guys didn't see on the OCG list, they hit uh, Union Hanger, and that really significantly hurts the ABC Buster Dragon. And uh, pretty much at this point, it's all Zodiacs anyways, so whatever. Uh, they just want to ensure that deck to be the best deck. Soul Charge is still a pretty excellent card. You still have cards like Lawn Mowing Next Door, which can absolutely just blow your opponent out of the water. You run a 60 card deck. So I think there's some room for like interesting things next format using, of course, Synchro decks. Uh, there's a lot of cards where you just send things to the grave, right? Dandelion gets, you know, procking its effect. You can set up for like Doppel plays. You can set up a lot of different plays with Glow Bulb. A lot of different cards can definitely get a lot of good value. And uh, with Trushula back in the game, Desynchro, Resynchro is a really nasty thing. I don't know if any of you guys played back in the day with Symbols of Heritage in the Desynchro, Resynchro, Trishula days. Uh, but, you know, Desynchro is still a pretty decent card. It's not the greatest card when you are trying to go for consistency. This card, to me, is a win harder card. Like, when you go off with this card, it's it's absolutely crazy. You're going to completely destroy your opponent with it. But, uh, nonetheless, we can see again, once again, the Cosmic Blazar Dragon. Soul Charge Activated going to be making a really crazy, insane field once again. But he's not going to be able to attack this turn, but it's pretty much irrelevant. A lot of decks, uh, they fold once you get out, like, multiple monsters that have, like, 3,500 plus attack because uh, they just don't have the answers to deal with it. Unless, of course, they're running those kaijus or uh, they have things to uh, negate uh, their effects because, like, he's basically got, like, two additional, like, uh, cards right there because whatever two cards he has, just cancel them out because you have double cards to negate that. Now, you do also run the risk of dying with Cosmic Blazer Drag because he goes away, so your opponent's like, oh, he, the card's gone? OTK! You know, that's what a lot of decks can do now. And that's where I really feel like Quasar is better. You know, like, it can attack twice, and on top of that, negates anything. Similar to this card, but I don't know. You guys let me know uh, what you think about it, but I did promise you guys a deck profile, so I will deliver on that deck profile. So, uh, anyways, shout out to Young Terry for always sending in them crazy replays really fast, man. But, uh, anyways... Also, I want to I want to say shout out to Teriyaki because dude, he really hooks me up with a bunch of replays. Guys, go sub to him. Link down below in that description box uh, if you guys want to sub him. He also uploads like anime, uh, very uh, etchy if you guys know what I'm saying. Those kind of uh, sexy anime videos, which I'm sure a lot of you Yu-Gi-Oh fans will enjoy as well. But anyways, yeah, check him out, guys. But uh, anyways, here's the deck profile as he originally intended to do it. I also want to just talk about some other good cards if you guys want to play a synchro deck. I can make some suggestions for you guys. But anyways. First off, triple copies of Quick Draw, triple copies of Junk Synchron, one Gofu, triple Doppel Warrior, double Maxi, triple Effect, oh no, Effect, uh, this is a level eater over here. Uh, triple copies of Jet Synchron, one Glow Up Bulb, one Attack Gainer. The reason why he's putting this card in here, even though Junk negates the effect, it doesn't matter because it's going to be boosting it because it's sent to the Graveyard against his effect proc over there. Uh, but, uh, wait, I see this one, uh, yeah, it's the effects are negated, yeah, it's the one I was talking about. But it also can make a monster with a thousand deck, plus it's a warrior that is also a tuner. Uh, another suggestion, instead of this card, if you guys would like to, uh, try out Effect Failure. It's still a decent card because it's a level one tuner, and obviously it's light. If you want to throw in BLS in the deck, go for it. But, uh, nonetheless, yeah, uh, it, it does have its, uh, ability to, uh, do things. Um, I think, I think, yeah, we were at, uh, Attack Gainer, and then next up we got, uh, Double copies of Allure of Darkness, two copies of Instant Fusion, one, one for one, Nisinko, two copies of that, one Reinforcement of the Army, one, one Day of Peace, one Soul Charge, one Upstart, one Foolish, triple tuning, double copies of Pot of Cupidity, double Twin Twisters, and one copy of Different Dimension Reincarnation. So I'm just going to make some suggestions for you guys. Uh, if you guys want a more consistent deck, don't get me wrong, uh, this deck by all means, have some fun with it, make it... Uh, it, uh, as the deck profile you see, but I really feel like your decks need consistency these days. If you want to play a synchro deck, it's Quasar are honestly bust for the most part, you know what I mean? Because every deck right now can throw up really disgusting fields. So I, I, I would suggest just trip up pot of cupidity uh, for starters. And then the other three cards, D Super is not a bad card. I generally feel like that's a win harder card. Um, if you guys want to keep an attack gainer, uh, like I said, it's a level one, it's a tuner, it's also a warrior. But I, I just prefer Baylor. I think Baylor is an overall much uh, more versatile card because it stops your opponent from forcing out a negation on your uh, card. Like, normally, uh, if you uh, negate early on, sometimes they have a follow up play. And Effect Brother can really help out with that. And in addition to that, Ghost Ogre can also be a decent card. 
uh, to also stop your opponent from uh, get, making something to deal with your uh, card so you can kind of save yourself from that. I'm not saying this this exact number but you can do one on one if you want and the last two cards feel free to do what you guys want to do with it but I feel like Desynchro it might not be the best for everyone especially because you're going to have to know exactly how to use it. Obviously you guys can go back and watch the replays but there's a lot of times where it's a little bit difficult to understand how to use the card because there's a lot of combalicious plays that uh, you just have to really know the ins and outs of like a Synchro deck but after you practice for a while especially if you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro you can kind of work around it but as far as the extra deck goes uh feel, i'm gonna go ahead and do this again so oh yeah by the way guys we're making an arrow to the knee deck but uh that, that's that's a video for another time uh, i guess you guys get a sneak preview of a stupid deck i'm making nonetheless boys um we got uh norton we got divine spark we got our oh, the cypher we got quasar we got of course the cosmic blazar dragon star eater starters charge warrior library double jet warrior double so hoya one copy of Excel, triple Floor Mystic. I remember when this card was put to one. And then the side deck uh, are these cards. You really don't need them, to be honest. Uh, I, I just, I don't think this card is that good, though. Overall, it's cool. They probably did it for the fans. Its artwork looks awesome. I can't wait to get my hands on it. But as far as viability in the game, I don't know, just make quiz But that's my thoughts. You guys let me know how you feel down below in the comment section below. But thanks for watching, guys. And if you enjoyed the vid, make sure you guys get a like button, a titty slap. And I am signing out.